Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Just need a second because my earphones are stuck. I got a whole mess. Hold on. Sorry, my earphones were all stuck, but I got them ready. So, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. How was it? I am home. I stayed at home. Nice. I stay at home. I worked. I traveled. Anybody else? What did you do on the weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Tell me. Last Saturday, I studied English. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, I, I go up at 5 a.m. Why? After, oh, because um, I like to to run in the morning. Oh, nice! So you went running. Yes, um, I I was running for twelve kilometers. Did you go to a marathon? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Where? Um, because I am. I am running because I am training for a marathon in Laos. Mm. And where did you go running? Um, I think so. I will running in marathon in El Puerto de la Libertad. In El Puerto, surfing. Yeah. Uh, no, this is other other marathon. <laughs> but I need I need to run a lot because um, need I to need train. I need to lose weight. Really? Yeah. And did you go alone or you went with somebody else? Alone. Really? Yeah. Yes. And what do you do if you if you have an emergency or if you need anything? Yeah, I don't I don't listen to Can you repeat again? What do you do in that case if you I mean if you have an accident or if you need any anything if you have an emergency? Oh uh, I always when I I leave the room, mm -hmm. I I I tell my family where do you run? And I I don't run alone mm -hmm. i run with my friends two or three friends on the road mm. okay nice yes all right very good nice so good luck on your marathon in august yes <laughs> nice i see you are a sport man an athlete yes 
All right, somebody else want to talk about the weekend, how the weekend went. Anybody else? Hey, teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening. I need my cash, teacher. Uh, I go to the beach with my family. You went. Uh, and we leave to Sunday and um, arrive and maybe a couple hours, yes, today, right. Nice. right now. You just came back? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so you stayed for yes. two days? Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. So you have Very vacation? Nice. Yeah, a little bit vacation. Yes. Okay, good. That's awesome. What beach did you visit? Um, Costa del Sol. Beach. That's a beautiful beach. Yes, yes. One of nice the most beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, of All course. All right, cool. Anybody else? Where did you go? What did you do? How your weekend was? Uh huh. Maybe Gilberto wants to tell us about his weekend. Uh, teacher, uh, Saturday, learning English and afternoon uh, TV movie. There. Oh, you watched a movie uh, on TV? Sunday, yes, uh, and Sunday, uh, Bows and Dog. On a fish. You went to hotel. buy fish in yeah. La Tiendona. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You made soup or you fry the fish? The fish is in Wakfernum. In my family. You stay with your family. You spend time with your family. That's nice. Thank weekend. That was your weekend. That's great. Oh, wow. Gigi, how about you? How was your weekend? How about my weekend? weekend? I went, yes. actually, yeah, I usually work on Saturday, so I worked this last Saturday. Really? Yeah. You work every time, teacher. <laughs> I'm a workaholic. <laughs> no, but I just have a class. Calm I down, teacher. Come I on. just have a class. It's just ah, okay. two hours in the morning. Well, two hours and a half. It's just from 10 to 12.30. Ah, okay. I usually get up a little bit later. I make myself some breakfast. Then I prepare my, my class. Then I teach. Then um, after that, I Thing. Well, this last Friday, I just took a nap <laughs> after lunch. And then I think I just stayed home. I cleaned. I did laundry. Then on Sunday, I went to different places. First place I visited was, I have to call this, it's La Ruta Panoramica, I guess. I went for a long drive all the way to San Francisco, Chinameca, I guess. It's where you can see the lake from Il of Vilopango from, from the top of the mountain. So <laughs> we went to have... San Francisco, uh, Chinameca is, is uh, San Miguel. Mm, yes, really? I don't, know. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's here in Naruto Panamica. <clears throat> it's all the way... F uh, me. You go by Santo Tomas. Then you take uh, yes. the route to Santiago Texacuango. Then you okay. go all the way there. I think it's San Francisco something. So you can see the uh, the lake of Ilopango from there. Ah, uh, okay. It's close to to lake. Uh -huh. It's on the on the mountain. So we have breakfast there. Then we came back. I went to the supermarket. I think. <laughs> then I went to okay to buy food 
then I I went to a a cafe. This is a new. I think it's. I, I'm not quite sure if it's new, but it's a kind of new. They have a a library cafe. I think that's it. That's the name. It's in Santa Elena. It was hard to find it because I'm not very good okay. at following directions with the with the Google Map. So I got lost. I went around and around <laughs> many times. Google. Yeah, I get lost definitely. Yeah, the, the Google Maps is very bad for for direction. Yes, and especially because uh, they say the several name. several mistakes. <laughs> yes, they say the name of the streets, and I don't yes, know the name yeah. of the streets, so I don't I don't know. They at the beginning they say it's next to Walmart, then they say it's next to Price Mart, and it's not even close to any of those. <laughs> it's far from from both, so I say okay. But at yes. the end I I found it, yes, and that was it. Then I just came home, called my mom, and that was that was the whole weekend. Well, it's okay, time for the boy. yeah, it's time for the attendance. Are you ready? This season, this season will be very hot. Really, teacher. I know. Yes, it's the um uh, season of the the niño. Ah, uh -huh. the whole year. Niño, like that, maybe. I think yes, yes true. A li a little bit rain. Um, yeah. A lot of. The weather is just really bad, bad, bad. Yeah. True. Well, this is the last week. Four, five. Yes. What, what day finished? We finished on Friday. After today, we only missed four classes. Four classes. Imagine. Four classes. Yes, after this yes. class. Yes. Andrea, okay, Monke, are you here? Andrea? Present. Okay. <laughs> Carlos. Present. Dennis. Gilberto. Present. Hazel. Present. Jose. Present. Julio. Present. Catherine. Present. All right, I'm sorry. Let's see. <laughs> Goal. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy, yes. Mary. Present teacher. Hi. Hi. Rolando. Present teacher. Rudy. Present. Salvador. Present. Susan. Pres present teacher. Hi. I was eating the ah, dinner. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Virginia. Present teacher. All right. Good evening. William. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. I see. Okay, we didn't call Robert because apparently Robert is a bit busy. Give me a second. I just don't know what happened with my... Mm. Yes, I think it's here. Yes, the manual. <gasps> What's new for today? We start the new unit. That's the new. Okay, let's see what page is the unit four on? Unit four. Unit four, exactly. Exactly. Unit four is on page 39. For the ones that love accounting, this is your unit. Enjoy. <laughs> Any accountant? Tenemos algún accountant on this on this class? No accountants? Nobody? What's me an accountant? Algún contador? Contadora? Nobody is an accountant. 
Kathy? I think so. Really? Yes. You are an accountant. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we have an expert. <laughs> so, in case we need any help, we need any assistance, Kathy is going to assist us. Because there will be a lot of concepts that they understand perfectly, even in their even if it is in their own language, because something new for us probably is that they have a lot of concepts, right? Related to accounting. So this unit is basically- Technical. Accounting. Yes, very technical for accountants, right? Okay. So I'm going to share the screen for you to have an idea of what I'm talking about. So maybe the name of the unit is accounting, yes? So accounting is the area, la contabilidad, right? So the professional in accounting is accountant, yes? Accountant. Mm -hmm. Accountant. Accountant. We accountant. need a lot of accountants because of many taxes we pay <laughs> <laughs> especially this year mm -hmm. the government is charging a lot yes a lot a lot a lot so the objective for this year to describe financial activity that my company or someone else has right <laughs> then we have Brainstorming your group about what a financial statement is. Let's see. There is a lot, there is a lot of concepts, of course, as this one's cash flow, income statements, equity statement, and balance sheet. Uh-huh. Maybe we don't have any idea of this. Yes. Pero todos son reports, 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 reports. I have a friend who works in the accounting department in the company. And she says that even there are a lot of programs nowadays, they still need a lot of paper for the area. So they, they make a lot of reports, right? So they still have a lot of reports, okay? So it's not that easy to work just on the programs. They still need the reports. So this is basically what we're going to be discussing. First, the concepts. And then we're going to be making the exercises related to accounting. Okay. Financial activities that my company has. Do you have any idea of the financial activities? Anybody? Uh, in my case, teacher, I I study business administration, and in our uh, topic of uh, the career, and the career are some mm. some, como se dice, <laughs> Mat algunas materias, uh -huh. subjects. some subjects related to accounting, related accounting, yes, uh -huh. uh, accounts one, two, three. <laughs> But um, uh, the accountable, los contadores ven más contabilidades. Of course, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, but you have ideas, at least. Yes. Uh -huh, that's great. Okay, anybody else? Mm -hmm. Nobody else? Just accountants? Only Kathy? Okay, could you repeat the, the request? Oh, the question is this one. If you have any idea of the activities, the financial activities of your company. Uh, okay. Um, so maybe uh register uh all transaction in all days um with a log logical accountant 
-hmm. you register uh, the pen of the of the item or the future mm -hmm. or future yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely definitely the accounting it depends on the type of business the type of company how big it is because some companies register a lot of money <laughs> yes they pay for a lot of things and they also receive a lot of money because of the products they sell of the good they sell, the service they provide, of course. Pero si nosotros no estamos en el área de contabilidad, ¿tenemos alguna idea? Zero. Yes, here the <laughs> ca, la H, uh -huh. cash flow, uh -huh. is the three reports a company, the company's income, uh -huh. the, la, the three things. All right, but if you if you are in the area, but if you are not in the area of accounting, any idea? Mm -hmm. All right, financial <clears throat> statement. What is financial statement? Anybody knows? Or by looking at the definition, probably. You can find the definition of financial statement, please. Estados financieros. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And how do you define that? What is a financial Contabilidad. statement? Contabilidad. Contabilidad. Accounting. It's pure accounting, right? Uh huh. All right. I have to tell you that. Uh huh. Uh, teacher, in my case, I think that it's like um for the uh, for a company, uh, mm -hmm. people or many people can make the can have the control mm -hmm. for the earnings and the spend exactly. money that the, that, that the company has. Right, yeah. it's all the reports, right? Mm -hmm. All the reports, all the records that a business have about accounting, right? All the financial activities. All right, so that is a financial statement. All right, so obviously this is going to depend of the company. If, if it is a small, uh, medium, or a big company, the reports are going to be many or more, right? Yes. Of course, uh, if you look for a definition, is it, I found this one that says the written records that convey the business activities and the financial performance of a company. So the, all the reports related to the incomes and outcomes and all the financial uh, activity that the company has. So that is, uh, it is also a financial statements are audited. So they are usually audited by somebody, an external uh, to see that nobody's stealing or keeping money from the company. So that's another activity that is very common. So then you have an idea of what the whole thing is going to be about. So we have these concepts, cash flow, income statements, equity statement, and balance sheet. Right. I'm going to give you two minutes. Try to think of the matching, if letter A goes here or letter B goes here. So you have to match the definition with the concept, okay? I mean, maybe we are not experts, but we're gonna get an idea, of course, about the reports of accounting, okay? So one minute. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right.
Done? Yes, teacher. All right, so we're going to compare. Let's see what we have and what our partners have. And of course, later we're going to compare with the whole class. Don't worry. Me encontraste. Slide charger. Slide charger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Está... <ríe> Vaya. Este ah, slide teacher... como, como ah, desliza, va. Como desliza. Ajá, como deslizar. Ajá. Este... Y charger. ¿Qué es? Yeah. Ajá. Cargador. Yo, yo no lo relacionaba porque en los videojuegos charger este... o target también. Pared, pero <coughs> tenés la imagen para compartirlo. Ah, fíjate que yo creo que la mandó la tichera. No, 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 no. La manda. No. Teacher, please can help us. <laughs> All right, right now. Thank you, teacher. All right. I see that. Yeah, I'm going to share. Yo lo voy a compartir. Okay. Right now. Right, right now. Ingreso de declaración. Sí. No. Ese he puesto yo en la en la tres, la B. Pero sí se parece. Income statement is the start resultado. Mm -hmm. Report on the change in retained earnings of the company during the state period. Ah, pero eso es como un balance general, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Entonces, este, más o menos, eh, por ejemplo, uh, cuando se hacen los inventarios en las empresas, no los hacen solo por querer saber cuánto producto tienen, sino que ese inventario luego se le pasa al contador y él lo pone. Sí, cabal. Um, de balance. con number number four. Ah no. Fíjese que yo estoy viendo que la caja no tiene que estar a, la caja no creo que sea el cuatro. ¿Mm? No, es que la de... Eh, 
La D con la 4. Espérenme que no puedo borrar esto. <risa> no era para borrar. Le iba a poner. Pero me ya sé qué voy a hacer. Me aparecen las curvas del capulín. Ahí está. Okay. Es que no sé con qué es que hacen Con qué es que lo hacen ellos Es lo que yo quiero ver Lo que le aparece arriba Don Julio Esto de dibujar Ajá No, pero es que de ah. dibujar el que estaba ocupando ahorita ah, No le aparece arriba Una cosita en verde ¿En No pantalla? No No, es que como estaba bozada de nuevo. <risa> ah, ok. Ya voy sacando más de una, una computadora solo para recibir la clase. <risa> ah, ok. Bueno, ya sé qué vamos a hacer. Le voy a poner... Ay. Los que están ahí a un ladito. Le voy a poner la letra. La letra le voy a poner. Ah, sí. Gracias de una compañía durante un, un periodo. Entonces... El, es el estado de cambio en el patrimonio el equity statement Done. Yes, teacher. How was it? Number one. All right. If you like, uh, well, for the others, I, I don't know if everybody already returned. Yes, they're coming. Don't worry. They are coming. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Cash flow. Cash flow. Uh -huh. What's the cash flow? Three. Number three. Yeah. Everybody agree? Yes. 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 Okay, the reports yes. on the company's yes. incomes and outcomes. Agree. Right? Income and outcomes of cash is operating, investing, and financing activities. All right, let's see. Yes. Incomes statement. Yes. Okay. Number four. That will be four. number four. The incomes... It's what it's comes pain. in, right? What comes in, actually kind of literal translation. Income sustainment summarizes a company incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Yes. All right? Yes. That's right. Equity statement. Two. That's number two? Yes. Sure? No. <laughs> Not sure. What is it? Number one. Number uh, one. Uh, reports uh, of the changes yes. in retained earnings of a company during a stated period. That's number one. 
and balance cheat it's obviously the number two because it's the only one we have for the fault right we say reports on a company assets liabilities and owners quality at a given point in time uh -huh. yes, it's number two right experts in accounting ¿Cómo traducen cash flow? Ajá. Flujo de caja. Exacto. Flujo de Ajá. Flujo de caja también he escuchado que lo manejan como ese concepto. Aunque cash ya saben que es efectivo, right? All right. Income statements. Como estado de resultados. Estado de ingresos resultados ah, resultados resultados sí aunque uh -huh. incomes literalmente son ingresos right yes ajá uh -huh. igual cuando nosotros trabajamos nuestros salarios are income y si tenemos un business también es incomes right uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully <laughs> all right equity statement Declaración, declaración de, de patrimonio. De patrimonio. El patrimonio. Declaración de patrimonio, right? And balance sheet. Esa seguridad es está ahí larga, ¿ok? Sheet. Porque si no, van a decir cosas. Sí. <risa> <risa> ¿Y eso cómo lo traducen? Balance. 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 Que cada cuánto se hace, pues eso no depende, ¿verdad? Algunas empresas, dependiendo si es una, una empresa pequeña, una empresa grande, pues es diferentes tiempos. O si son unas tiendas, pues yo creo que eso lo hacen todos los días, ¿verdad? Like every single day. Or the banks, I'm not quite sure. Bye. Cash flow is every day in the branch. Yeah. Yes. In a store, in a business. Uh -huh. Okay. One second. All right. Here we go. I just forgot. Let me see. It was just the previous one. Teníamos algunas questions. Okay. Before this. Uh -huh. What are some of the most common procedures of the accounting department in your company? This we must know. If we don't have any idea, then we cannot talk. <laughs> But the financial statement, we already discussed this. And do you know the documents the auditors and accountants manage? ¿Tienen alguna idea de esto? Ah, la primera creo que flujo de caja. Okay, what are some of the most common procedures? So cash flow would be one of the procedures of the accounting department of your company. Yes, that could be. Uh huh. Um, what is financial statement? Um, financial statement. We already discussed about this before we we did the activity of the matching. Remember that. Financial statement is all the reports, all the documents related to finances, to financial Estado reports. Financiero. Exactly. All these reports are the financial statement. And do you know the documents that auditors and accountants manage? Yo lo conozco el reporte de caja, ¿no? That's all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Yes. What I was saying is that si no estamos en el área, es como bien difícil que tengamos acceso o que conozcamos este tipo de reportes, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Porque para empezar son cosas bien, como bien, bien delicadas, pues. O sea, son, son documentos bien confidenciales. Y no va a venir como que, look at this, this is the report that we got of income. Nah. Los libros contables. Exactly, that could be. Uh -huh. The accountant's books. No sé si todavía lo manejan o ya con softwares. En algunas Inter companies todavía me imagino, yes. Internal controls. Uh -huh. Internal controls, audits, right. 
planillas. Uh -huh. How do you say planillas? Payroll. 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 Exactly. That is also part of the accounting because it's part of the Check. financial. Uh huh. Financial statements. All right. Great. Then we have the exercise that we just did. It was the that chair. one. Yes. How do you say caja chica? Any expert caja chica? Because it doesn't have a translation, a literal translation, I bet. Cash, cash girl. <laughs> <laughs> cash a little bit girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> little <Stop>. cash. <laughs> little cash. Little cash. <laughs> no. No, en, ya en conta, concepto de contabilidad tendría que tener un nombre. Exactly. Técnico. A technical name, yes. Any expert, mm -hmm. caja chica? Petty cash. Es petty cash. Petty cash. Peri. Peri cash. How do you spell that? Caja chica. Peri cash. P E W T Y C A S H. Oh, like pretty, like pretty, but instead of uh, the R, you just have the E. Peri cash. Interesting. Maybe it comes from penny. Petty like cash. The petty cash. Mm -hmm. yes. Interesting. I didn't yes. know that. I didn't even know that exists that caja chica. <laughs> <laughs> Little box. <laughs> Little <laughs> box <laughs> with <laughs> cash. <laughs> <Petty cash. laughs> Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Petty cash. Yes, petty word. cash. Uh -huh. Interesting. Caja menor. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. This is the first time somebody says that. <laughs> somebody put it on the chat. Yes. No, this is funny. Very cash. Very cash. Mm. All right. <laughs> what else? Let's see. You have some questions in your manual that says discuss with a partner the following ideas. Okay. Maybe I'll give you some minutes just to take a look at them. So of course, it says, these are the questions that you're going to discuss. It is not so important. Of course, it's giving ideas. There are no correct or incorrect answers. Remember that we are not experts in the area. So discuss with a partner the following ideas. Share your opinions. These are just opinions and give reasons. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes of a company has. Last year, a company's oh, no. owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. It is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profit to see how much can be invested or spent. So these are some opinions and you have to say the reasons why this may be true, may be possible, may not be possible. Okay, so these are just some ideas. The first one, it is not so important. It is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes of a, com of a company. Of course, this is what I was saying at the beginning. Si nosotros no estamos en el área contable, difícilmente vamos a saber cuánto Ingresa cuando sale de una empresa. And the people that work in the area have a lot of, I think, a lot of restrictions in the policies because they don't share this information. It's private information from the company, too. Yes. Right. Very private. It's very delicate information. Yes. Of course, I never know anything. Es más, creo que es una de las de las áreas más herméticas de, de la empresa. So they yes, never yes. say anything. Nothing. No se le sale nada. Y es la gente más... No, me quiere. <laughs> no pero es por, el, por, por su área de trabajo. Of course, they are super, super serious. They are all the time like, yes. What do you need? <laughs> so I, I had the opportunity to work for Servicios Profesionales. I was an, uh, a freelance 
for a company, so they usually pay me on a check. So I have to go to the accounting area. But they only say, no, your, like your check is not ready. Or yes, here it is, sign and buy. I mean, you don't you don't do anything there. So it's just, I mean, you, you don't have access to that information, right? But then you are going to discuss with your partners. Last year, this is a situation. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carries such action to save the company. You can tell me if that's possible, that's not possible. And the number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. All right. So there you have. Let's see the same groups. We keep the same groups to discuss. Yes, of course. a la meta, tanto individual como global por la tienda. Individual, ajá, y mensual. Sí, de ahí la segunda habla con respecto a que un empresario o propietario de una empresa, pues, despidió a muchos empleados para poder salvar su empresa. Mm. Vaya, ahí sí, no le entiendo yo, va, pero ahí creo que le pondría yo como un, no sé, como mata malo ahí. Está, como dicen en Colombia, está la vaina. Aún en la, en la administración es bien, bien, a veces complicado conocer, digamos, de, de las últimas noticias de la, de la administración que es la que decide si quita o no me escucha como cortado no sé si es solo yo que me escucha hola, hola hola se escucha cortado sí es... hola, hola hola, hola yo, yo creo que sí es bien importante administrativo es bien pues no, no, como dice usted, uno no entiende, pero cuando uno está involucrado en la administración, sí es bueno saber un poco, porque en mi caso, en el trabajo anterior, como le digo, yo preparaba toda la facturación y todo, y yo más o menos, yo, yo hacía un global, cuánto compré, cuánto vendí. El, la diferencia entre los dos era lo que yo iba a pagar en impuestos al gobierno, pero resulta que me llevaban que tenía que pagar como 300 dólares más de, lo, de la idea que yo tenía que iba a pagar. Mire, yo sin saber que, que yo estaba en lo correcto, yo reclamé y yo le dije al contador, yo no voy a pagar eso porque yo siento que no he facturado todo eso, le dije yo. Es que usted me dijo facturado un, como 15 mil o no sé cuántos dólares al mes. Yo le dije, mire, no. Yo sé lo que he facturado y no es esa. Yo nunca he vendido esa cantidad, le dije yo. 
bueno, el caso es que bajar me quería, fíjese. Huele. Y, y despidieron al, al, al contador porque, pues uno firmaba el papel, vea, que como la, los balances, le voy a decir, pero es un, un papel bien diferente que se presenta a Hacienda. Entonces, donde ahí dice cuánto usted va a pagar, pero esa firma la puede hacer cualquiera. Entonces, el chero lo que hacía era que le cobraba a los clientes la cantidad que él decía, la que él ponía en el papel, y luego él volvía a imprimir la, la, la declaración correcta. Quizá la declaración correcta y agarraba la parte del dinero que, que, que él agarraba y, y lo presentaba así, pero mire, yo esa vez me puse en cuidado y bajando me estaba, fíjese, y después despidieron al contador. Juela, y qué, sí. qué feo a que lo despidan por eso, pues porque sí, o sea, porque... un gran desprestigio sí, para sí. él. Sí, fíjense. Ahora yo tengo una relación bastante cercana con lo administrativo también en la farmacia porque yo me encargo de ordenar todas las facturas y yo más o menos eh, voy cuadrando. No cuadro la compra, solo cuadro la venta, pero más o menos tiene que jugar compra y venta que no se exceda ninguna de las dos porque si vendió mucho, pues así es el impuesto que va a pagar. Ah, ya. Ajá, y si compró mucho y no vendió, o sea, ahí, ahí hasta puede llamar la atención de lo del... We talk about the business with all, all people connected to the company or with okay. uh, maritime, transport maritime. Okay. That's, that's all. Okay, so, we, number two. Last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner cared such actions to save the company. Well, I think when a company uh, has problems, uh, actions like fire people, Sometimes it's it's like an escape because they need to de re reduce outcomes. So the the people, the employees are the most expensive um, active on the company. So sometimes they need to. Uh, um, reduce the their payroll i think it's, it can be an an action uh it's very common for say companies yes in my case la year a company owner fire many people many people the owner carries such shoes cuál es cuál es el otro país que está en guerra con Rusia ah yo no eres este no 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 es este Ucrania Ucrania yeah Ucrania eh, for this reason it's very difficult for for the companies eh, This year, 2023, is a year very difficult for the company. And the company is fired several people uh, for this reason. And in number two, uh, it affects, affects for the reason the pandemics in for the war in Russia with Ukraine. And when, when there is a war, war so uh, the, the only option that the companies has is fire the people <laughs> yes because they yes. have to go for another countries or whatever <laughs> another part than the than as far to the war so they the only option that they have is 
fire the people yeah. and close the company. <laughs> okay, uh, question number three. It is a mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or, or spent. Translate, <coughs> eh, es obligatorio que todos verifiquen sus ganancias para ver cómo, cómo se puede invertir o gastar. Y en la número 3. En esa estoy pensando ahorita. Yes. It is important to activate. Uh, uh, no, 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 eso estaría bien. ¿Por qué tan largo? ¿Mm? ¿Por qué tan larga la respuesta? Eh, es importante para lograr una buena inversión de eh, ganancias. Bueno, en el caso de nosotros, nosotros invertimos. Bueno, tal vez en el número dos. Eh... Digamos que las consecuencias de, de la guerra entre, entre Rusia y Ucrania ¿no? puede ser spec higher inflation, lower growth, and some disruption to financial market. And for number two, uh, is uh, the company's owner fired many people. Could be because um, it's a, a lower growth in the several companies. Could be that the, the answer then sentence as number two. And the number three says it is mandatory for everybody to check on this her profit to see how much can be invested or spent. Teacher? Sí. No, pues ahí está fregado. Sí. No, pero es que la verdad que se necesita de mucho dinero para comenzar. Si lo quiere grande, vea. Pero si quiere una tiendita de tres churros, pues puede con, con unos pocos dólares iniciar. En parte es bueno, pero como usted ya tiene la, digamos, la experiencia de lidiar con empresas, no se le dificultaría mucho, sabría cuándo invertir y cuándo no. Sí, sí, eso sí. Yo estoy pensando, pero no sé, ¿verdad? En la hidro, ¿cómo es que se llama? Hidro, ah, no recuerdo el nombre, pero es de, de cosechar este como tipo legumbres, pero a base de agua. Ah, desconozco ese. Hidrocultivo, creo en que. En la cama. Por ahí.
Hello. Hello. Sorry, Carlos. I, I just have clicked on the other group when I say teacher. Ah, uh, no problem. I couldn't yeah. stop it. <laughs> what happened? What was no the problem. question? Uh, the number three maybe is a level with the, the company, mm -hmm. right? Ah, okay. Uh, maybe the EBIT is all company and to be um, checked this the hill profile to see how for the investment or spend. Mm -hmm. Of course, if it is a, at a company level, if it is at a personal level, you can also do that. The thing is that we are not financially educated. Yeah, <laughs> very important. We don't receive any education in finances, okay? Yeah. So we, if we just get um, incomes of, let's say, $300 in a week, we don't have anything because we don't really care. Sometimes we just, I mean, kind of get expenses, expenses, and then we don't care about saving yeah. or investing. <sighs> Anyways, it's our economy. Yes. <laughs> it's our economy. It's terrible. <laughs> no. All right. Yes, in our case, I, I think that's very important to invest to education. Exactly. At least to have the education and know, right? Yes. So. Because for maybe we need to return two years in the future. Right. So the first group was, let me see. Not quite sure. The first one was Andrea, Julio, Rolando, and Virginia. Okay, what did you discuss? I mean, you don't have to give us the answer for the three questions. You choose either one, two, or three. Which one do uh, you want to talk about? Um, a mini or a short or direct answer, teacher? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, number one. Okay. Is it's not so important to know how the income is and outcomes a company has. Mm -hmm. um, as well, of course, it's important. Okay, um, number two. Uh, last year, our company owns were filled. The answer card is so action is connected to the, the company and um, requires uh, a manager to lower loss and made the company. And number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his hair profit to see how news can be in, invested at speed. And um, request is it is important to achieve a good investment and profit. It is important, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. From group two was Carlos, Dennis, and Kathy. Uh, okay, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Really, the number two for me uh, is very important because uh, the company owner uh, takes a decision or driven by global factor, for example, the reward of the Russia and Ukraine. And after that, uh, they decide to. Uh, fire many people, you know, and, and is the reason to lower growth? Yes. Only teacher. All right. Number three, Catherine, Maria, Rudy, and William.
No representative from group number three. Okay. Group number four was Gilberto, Hazel, and Salvador. I heard you have very good arguments. Yes. We have. Uh, we're talking about uh, uh, at the uh, number two, last year, a company owner fired many people. The owner care such action to save the company. We discussed about uh, that is the um, better way to um, an owner find for for reduce the cost of the company and try trying to save. We think it's not the best way to do, mm -hmm. but is it is something something it happens more. It's a practical more, way to solve. Yes, <laughs> yes, and we discuss about the employees, the the people are the company's most expensive assets. So it's the best way to reduce immediately the mm -hmm. cost for the company. Mm -hmm. When you reduce the the uh, spend with I don't know maybe fuel, paper, it's it's slow it's more it's, it's slow so that's it all right thank you and the last one was andrea andres and robert okay teacher we have to answer the true question or just one you choose. of the three no you choose okay okay teacher so the question number two the last year a company owner fire many people the owner very social action to save the company. We I talked to Salvador, no, 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 Roberto. Robert. Roberto, Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he say always Salvador. Robert, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so we talk about for two different points. Mm -hmm. My in my case, I say to Salvador that my company sometimes or every year has to fire many people because the my company for the more for the government contracts for example for salud so mm -hmm. there is a contract that they have about uh, 300 or 350 people so when one project the, the company lost a project so we can resign resign it these people in another project so the company for they can earn well. The company for that reason has to um, fire the people because the company doesn't have for the for they can go for another place for to work. So it's necessary, and so, for the cost, like uh -huh. they cannot keep the personnel <clears throat> just without any project to take care of. I, okay, exactly. exactly. Uh -huh. And what and, happens and, when they get another project? They hire another. They hire more people than. No, 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 no. Not it's like that. So, for example, when we lost a project, mm -hmm. um, the some people we can have some people. So, mm -hmm. but the, the other people we have to fire the these people. Mm -hmm. um, not it's like higher. No. No, but what if, okay, they are fired because the project was finished or because you lost the project. But what okay, if yeah. you get a new project? Do you need more personnel? Do you, then you hire? Uh, if we, the, if uh, we get a, another project. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just the people that work in those projects, mm -hmm. you just change the uniforms. Ah. So for example, if you, so you, you call like... Them back. Yeah, we call them back, yeah, of course. Ah, nice. For example, um, we we have a project, so we can we can say to the security workers, if you don't you want to do do you like work here? Mm -hmm. And the people say yes. So you do you want to work with us? So if the people say yes, so the in the moment that we have to start the service, the people just change the uniforms. So for example, yesterday for the last is for the other company and this year is for our company so okay. just change the uniform so <laughs> but robert say 
that they give an example. For example, mm -hmm. the war for Russia and, and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, mm -hmm. and we say that sometimes for the war or for the different um, actions, the different things, so the companies has to fire the people. And of course, for a, in, a, in a war, the company has to close. So the company obviously has to fire the people. Right. Many worldwide situations, right? Like catastrophes, crises, such as the COVID as well. Many companies fire many employees. Exactly. Ah, that was a crisis, definitely. Oh, right. sure. Yes. Uh, we speak with Andres. Mm -hmm. um, the question number two. Mm -hmm. Last year, a company owner fired many people. Mm -hmm. The owner has such option to say the company. We speak with Andres uh, for for a manager of the company. Mm -hmm. It's a decision very difficult because because when uh, they have balance and um, and fire people, it's a decision very difficult because this year, twenty twenty three, uh, is difficult for war for all countries, in especially for our country, El Salvador. In my company, uh, the company, uh, they have a plans to open other branch in El Salvador. For that reason, no opens that that brand in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they, they have fighting very people for situation in the world, uh, okay. the pandemic, the war and uh, many the situations war, that went around yeah. the world it's very yes. difficult i know i know i remember one example that uh, a participant gave me in the last 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 group i think yes. roberto hello roberto a teacher uh, yes. may may i uh go 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 say any any ask with robert yes uh, roberto um when this problem uh, will improve um, in textile area? Yeah, uh, uh, my company is, uh, okay, do, do you know the company because it's confectioned del Valle in Sport Salva for some? Yeah, um, this of course. Is a, this is a say group, Ilasal. Yes, group yes. Ilasal, yeah. Um, this company is very big. Um, yes. It, Company is very affected because uh, the company is exportation product to Asia, United States, Europe. If for the war with Russia, with Ukraine, is very affected for the reason. Yes, but but when when this problem improve? When do you think this situation is going to get better? When do you think this okay. is going to improve? Uh, the the big problem with the company is no sell products. Yeah, no okay. sell product in the warehouse is full. is full of full. products. Yeah, <laughs> okay. this is the, the, the main reason. Oh, okay. So probably it's going Only... to take about oh. one year, two years. What are the predictions? Yes, which one the prediction? Maybe yeah. the the other year, I imagine. Maybe two yeah. years. Uh -huh. In two years. For example, for example, uh, my company. Uh, have a decision for this year only work a week four days four days a week friday the people is is staying house because the company no have a work okay wow okay. but they don't get paid on friday uh, the company pay friday but it's very difficult for the company yeah yes yes absorb the cost mm -hmm. yes Okay, okay. Well, only wait for the the things to get will better, to improve. Improve, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Oh wow. Yes, actually the situation. economic situation that we are going through is really affected. You know, the economy is terrible. Yeah. I it's, yeah. affect, it's affected sure a uh, other other industry in El Salvador. Everybody's being For being example, I, I last week I spoke with a friend. He works in Sello de Oro. 
and, and he told me the situation is difficult. Uh, the sello de oro, it fired a lot of people too. I really know. too. I don't want to say anything about my company, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yes there are no good news i mean right now i don't know much but during the pandemic hmm, a lot of factories were closed literally closed Teacher, i don't know if you remember when the we have in this country in our country a law that the people has um 60 year mm -hmm. can work in the companies Mm -hmm. We have to fire many people that has um, this year, 60, mm -hmm. 60 years. It's true. That's another thing. The, the, the working laws don't help much either. <sighs> well. For that, for that reason, it's very important to learn English. Uh, you can get other job on a call or center. Work on, or, or work online. Company. <laughs> yes. work online have your own investing education exactly invest and start your own company start your yeah. own business it's true because we need a lot of incomes right now i see this the yes, economical situation i mean you get let's say 100 dollars, and then like in a few hours you don't have anything like everything goes so fast and you say where did 100 dollars go i just went to buy gas i just went to the supermarket and the supermarket very limited not just putting everything on your shopping cart and yes. then i just bought lunch and i don't have anything so it's terrible yes I mean, it's very hard to get sure? incomes but it's so easy to spend money yes Teacher, what do you think about in, in for example, we um, learn English, but uh, what happened with the the um, del mercado? The market. Oh, see, yes, what happened with the market? See, the companies hiring hiring us. Yes. Yeah, um, I think I think if you, if you are able to handle it, but now the market is really demanding. They okay. uh -huh, they don't only ask you to know English. They ask you to communicate in another language, but they also ask you to have many more skills and just to be an employee. But I think we have to learn about marketing. We have to learn about business because I guess it would be better to get your own business. <laughs> this it would be easier to, to get joke about English? Yeah. The, the company hitting. There are many international companies, especially okay. online. Online, you can get a job anywhere. Okay. Yes. But that's what okay. I'm saying. We are only educated to be employees. That's the problem with our economy in El Salvador. I yes. mean, it's a third world com I mean, third world country. So we are not educated to produce we are just educated to work for somebody else. That's a problem. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. All right. Let me just continue. I just had some vocabulary related images to them. Yes. These are some of the examples of uh, vocabulary we're going to find definitely on this unit. Okay, diagrams, definitely graphics are very important in this area in accounting because that's how they show the growth or the decreasing cost or in, in incomes or out, outcomes, financial statements, spreadsheets, invoices, miscellaneous, binding, payrolls, all this vocabulary, we're going to find it definitely throughout the units, right? Cash flow control this is an example. Financial statement, as I was saying, revenue expenses, operating surplus, equity statement. Okay, this is just part of the vocabulary, income statement, 
we've been talking. This is a lot of numbers, of course. To be a good accountant or to be in the area of accounting, we have to be good with numbers, right? So if we don't really know how to use this, we better not mess with it. Balance sheets, it's also another concept that we studied. And then this is what we've been discussing, right? This, okay. All right. And then this is the topic that the manual presents. The use of so and such. Adjectives emphasizers. When we say adjective emphasizers, it's como para enfatizar. So big, so bad. So we're just emphasizing, right? So of course, the word so in English has a lot of meaning, but here we use the word so to emphasize the adjective. You say, so pretty, so big, so amazing. The situation in El Salvador is so difficult. We're just saying very difficult, right? Really. But we use the word so. And such, we use such with A or N plus an adjective and the noun. It's como la misma situation, but the quality, such, it's emphasizing, but we use the, the structure in a different way. Aquí nos basta nada más el so y el adjetivo. So big, so good. Por aquí usamos such, a, or an, el adjetivo y el noun. Por ejemplo, si decimos El Salvador es un país tan pobre. So decimos, it is such a poor country. Yes? So podríamos decir nada más, so poor. Yes? Pero tenemos dos formas de hacerlo. So, using so or using such. Obviously, such is a little bit difficult because we have to use such, the article or the determiner, a or an, the adjective, and the noun, okay? For example, if I'm describing a accounting, y yo quiero decir que es una un área tan difícil o sí, un área de estudio o un área de trabajo muy difícil entonces digo accounting is such a difficult area yes or is so difficult hay como ustedes prefieran pero ese es el uso verdad de so and such for the manual, we have also the, the same explanation, very similar. Yes, it is so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports. Let me just highlight. Voy a ponerle highlight para que veamos la, la estructura. One second, please. Aquí está. I think this one. No. No, it was this the color. I think this one. So necessary. Yes, necessary is the adjective. It is so important. Yeah. So plus adjective. Yes. Mm hmm. So well made, so imaginative. Aquí, well made. Creo que está como advert, pero no sé. De repente podríamos decir, wait a second. So well made, todo junto. Porque well made es el adjetivo. Está tan bien hecho. It's a, that's a translation. So imaginative. And then we have such creative programs. 
All right. One second. Such creative program. So such a creative, the adjective, and program, the noun. It is such a significant investment. Such a significant, the adjective, and investment, the noun, lo que está describiendo, right? Was such a useful tool before. And the last brother was such a big success. All right. So this is the use. Aquí nada más nos basta la palabra so y el adjetivo que queremos enfatizar. Yes? So good, so difficult, so important, so necessary, so creative. Pero aquí tenemos que decir such a el adjetivo y lo que estamos describiendo con ese adjetivo. Yes? Por ejemplo, si usted tiene un, un buen amigo y dice, Rafael is such a good friend. Such a good, que es el adjetivo, y la palabra friend que está describiendo, qué tan buen amigo es. Yes? O si usted de repente le sirven un postre y dice, this is such a good dessert. Such a delicious dessert. Yes? O simplemente dice, so good, so delicious. Yes? ¿Alguna question con estas estructuras? Obviamente, se puede aplicar en cualquier forma. <laughs> yes, Gilbert, I'm sorry. So, eh, se puede usar como comparativo. So, comparativo. Such and such. Mm, sí, podría. Oh, no. Sí. Sí podría, pero en, en, este, en este contexto solo están usando como para enfatizar. Ok. Uh -huh. Anybody else? ¿Se ¿Sí habían escuchado estas dos palabritas? Yes. Yeah. So. So es súper común. Aunque such. la palabra so puede tener such. diferentes usos. Sí. Such. such. Quizás no, no, no es tan usada porque cuesta un poquito más usar, la verdad. Es decir, But oh. it's similar. Yes, very similar. Uh -huh. That's such a nice sweater, decimos. Yes, that's such a big car, right? Bye. I'll clear all the drawings. And aquí les dan algunos examples. Complete the same, the sentence, sorry, with so or such. Then compare with a partner. Yes. Veamos. Lo vamos a hacer en los grupos de trabajo, pero vamos a crear new groups. Recreate. Ya. Yeah. Yo lo tengo solo en, aquí en impreso, pero voy a ver si puedo compartir. Ah, ya la está compartiendo. Yo creo que Rudy la está compartiendo. Sí, por favor. Uh 
This uh, okay. it is go to know the cash flows. They are important. They are. Es bueno, es bueno, es bueno conocer el, el flujo, flujo de efectivo, caja. ¿verdad? Ajá, They are so important. Sí, porque so, so significa como entonces, ¿verdad? Such. Number three. Dice, wireless uh, internet access is so important. So, the search va a utilizar a search a search. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and the first one you have they so important. Important. They are, they are so important. Ajá. Entonces sería so important. Yeah. What do you think about the number two? The architect is... Is, is, allí usaríamos el such. That's right, because you say it's such a creative woman. A creative woman. Yes. So, number three. Wireless internet internet access is so convenient. Wireless so internet access is so convenient. So, o sea que siempre que usemos is y such, tendría que ir a. Is such a. When you use such, you need to put or you going to find in the structure of the eh, sentence eh, a. Eh, Yeah, es que como yeah. entendí que dijo que uh, se le daba el adjetivo y dijo después del such, ¿verdad? Yes, un adjetivo. De... Ajá. Un adjetivo. Y if you say convenient is the adjective. Mm -hmm. Sorry, creative is the adjective. Sorry, sorry, is creative the, the adjective. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Excuse me. Uh, no. May I share the grammar, please? Sure. Ab about the so and so the and use such. about so and such, please. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, teacher. Via yeah, WhatsApp or yeah. Zoom. What's up better? So everybody has it. Everybody gets it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody caps the idea. Yes, true. Okay. Compañero. Hello. Nos acompaña la decisión final de so. Speaking your pronunciation is that. No es, no es sus. Ahí. En la página 40, 44, ahí están todas. Ah, ok, ya. Ahí la voy a ubicar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces así nos quedaría, ¿verdad? So, such, so, 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 so. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí 
Ahí en la número tres. Sí. Sí, yo digo que está bien, así va. Si no, no importa. Ahí nos sí. van a corregir. Que, que nos corrigen los demás. <risa> Teacher, we already finished. All right. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Oh my goodness, one second, please. Here. It's such an easy job. <laughs> such an easy exercise. It finished. Yes, everybody? Yes. Good. Yes. Good, yes, good, this good. Let's see. It is good to know the cash flow. They are so important. So important. The architect is such such a creative woman. Oh, such a creative woman. Wireless wow. internet is so, is so convenient. Yes. All the inventions were created, we created are so popular. So popular. The computer so, was uh, such, such, such a significant invention. That's right. <laughs> Checking your financial statement was so, so difficult. So difficult before, but now it's not that bad actually. All right. Do you have questions? What questions do you have? This we already discussed, so don't worry. We're going to discuss about that tomorrow. Bye. Voy a enviar un link a WhatsApp. Ustedes van a poder ingresar a esa página y van a resolver los ejercicios que hay en esa página de so and such. Si lo logramos terminar, fine. Si no, no problem. No son muchos, pero you're going to compare with your partner. O sea, lo van a resolver entre... Digo, eso lo son... A couple of sentences. Lo único que tienen que ingresar es so or such. It's very similar al que acabamos de hacer, pero tienen que ingresar ahí. Yes, ready? Okay. Yes, ready. Okay, give me one second. Right here. Right. There you go. Confirman si logran ingresar, please. Confirm. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes, so yes. you're going to do this exercise with your partners. Okay. So you can share the answers.
Sushto. Sushto. Lau. Terazo. Soso. Lau. I think that is like that. Yo pienso que sí. Pero hay un error de. Porque so low. So, so low. Sí, tendría que ser so, so low. Porque no puede ser so, so low. Es so, so, so low. No. So, so. La primera tendría que ser so. Y la segunda, so. so. La tercera, so. La tercera, so, exactly. La cuarta, so. So much, exactly. So much. So. So. So, fast. I can't understand. Fast. So, fast. Okay, I could listen all day. English. So fast. I believe so. So. Tenía duda de esa porque sería Jenny has sush funny. Has sush. Tenía como, ¿cómo se llama? Este, mi duda de esa. Pero. Hey. <laughs> aquí estamos. We can teach her. We almost have a pen. <laughs> nice. Which one you guys wrong? Such a funny yeah. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No hicieron trampa en esa. <laughs> no, that's how you say it. Such a funny joke. Y la quisieron tapar con la número este con la número once. Once. <laughs> so low. Pero y ese so va so es es pero el otro so low is like a expression so so low what number uh, number 11 mm, no so loud no pero si sí es porque loud es el adjetivo ruidoso exactly but the, the, the grammar the grammar is correct so so low pero solo tiene ah es double es para enfatizar aún más por eso so so, so, so. yeah I, uh -huh. I remember yeah that Cuando we can say no so, so. so so slow teacher and yes. it's, it, it, the, the, it's like the expression when we say más o menos so so no es different porque este es como <laughs> es para enfatizar que es Tan, tan alto, tan, tan lento. Ok. It's double emphasis. Double emphasis, ok. Mm -hmm. All right, you're done, right? Yeah, teacher, we're done. I think the that one it, it has a mistake or no. The bears. Teacher. Hello, teacher. What happened with the numbers five? Mm -hmm. But when the check the bottom finish, uh, we uh, funny jokes. Yes. It's real, maybe it's, it's such our, our mistake, maybe. No, it's such funny jokes. But the only thing is that it's in plural, por eso no decimos such a ah, such funny jokes. I search, it's yes. search. Uh -huh. uh, but what happened with the structure? Is because ah, uh -huh, yes, no tiene a ah, porque jokes está en plural. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's funny jokes. Es como muy, no sé qué dices, muy divertido. No, chistes, o... muy, muy, ajá, muy divertido. Ah, chistes. <laughs> yes, ah. funny jokes. 
Não, é sorte. Hein? Pera, essa carcarita assim está complicada, bicho. <risos> No. Istanbul is so beautiful. So beautiful. Boric is such a good. Such. Teacher. Hey. <laughs> Tenemos una duda, teacher, with number. Eleven. Eleven. What happened? The, the beer are so so. so. Sí, so, puede so. Ser double so. So oh. so. Mm -hmm. Pero es que es que como enfatizar doblemente. So, so loud. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Que muy fuerte, muy, muy fuerte. Muy, muy. Cuidado. <laughs> okay. Exacto. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ajá. Cuando el bus no se apura, no se dice so, so slow. Qué tortuga. Oh. Mm. <risa> <risa> The book is so good. Oh, so good. Ok, thank you, teacher. Mm. All right. How was the exercise? Good. Tricky. <laughs> Tricky number five. <laughs> number five. <laughs> and other people were complaining <laughs> about number 11. Because it's so, so. <laughs> Nos falló la número cinco. <laughs> Ay, no se ve a la al texto. jokes estaba en plural entonces el a o el an es para una cosa para singular por eso es such el adjetivo y el y el nombre en plural por oh, ejemplo uh -huh. si usted tiene hijos que son niños entonces eso ya está en plural entonces se dice they are such intelligent children no podría ser socha porque son varios. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. La regla de singular en plural entra también en juego. Uh, okay. Plural y such. Such, el adjetivo y el, y el, y el noun en plural, sin el a okay. o el an. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno, good. Veamos la attendance. Ya llegamos a la parte de la attendance. Por cierto, ¿a quién le corresponde el one on one de este día? Quiero ver. La última persona que participó fue Salvador. I remember. So, sería Andrea Urbina, Virginia o William. Entre los tres, piedra, papel o tijera. Cuando yo llegue al final de la attendance, ya tienen que haber decidido quién. Andrea. <risa> Pe rock, paper, scissors, vaya. Andrea, monje. Hello. Present. Ah, vaya. <risa> Pensé que no había ido, Andrea. Carlos. Present. Denis. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Ay, le falla el micrófono a Denis. Gilberto. Present, present, teacher. Ay, sí, ya. Gilberto okay. Benito. Present, present. Hazel. Present. Jose. 
Present. José Andrés, usted los dos no, bueno, los cuatro tiene tilde. José Andrés Martínez y Pérez. Usted cuando iba a primer grado lloraba, José. <risa> Él sabe de caligrafía, entonces. <risa> no, ¿cómo lo hizo? Hacía planas. <risa> de verdad no le costó. Okay. No, 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 me lo aprendí. Me mecanizado, aquí van las tomotas. Mecanizado, ¿no? Sí. Lo bueno es que sí lo hacen primero, ajá. Pero pues qué sí, increíble, exacto. las cuatro, los dos nombres, los dos apellidos. Las cuatro es más, tilde, es mejor, ¿no? llevan todos. Sí, sí, aquí de así son todas las palabras en español. Con <risa> Parece nombre francés. Ay, no, increíble. Teacher, en inglés no se usan las tildes. No. Tenga. <ríe> si no se imagina. Tenga. Pero se, se, <ríe> pero se usa el apóstrofe, que si no se pone bien, lo pone a batallar. No, y de hecho sí existe la mayor fuerza de voz, o sea, el acentuar la sílaba sí existe, pero no se pone tilo, o sea, que usted tiene que saber dónde se pronuncia. Porque, por ejemplo, <ríe> desert, desert. Si está diciendo desierto en lugar de postre, ahí está el problema. O, o merecer, dice Merecer. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? Deserve, deserve. 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 Uh -huh. es, es como merecer, es, es como entre en juego que se parecen, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ah, sí, solo que lleva una V. En cambio, el otro es el mismo, exactamente el mismo. Spelling. Desert, desert. Ah, ok. Como record, record. Ice cream is desert, desert. Desert. Okay. Yes. The third. Mm -hmm. Sí existe, pero no se pone. Entonces es como un poco más difícil de adivinar. Okay. Julio César. Present. Catherine. Kathy. Present. 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 Salvador. Present. Andrea Olvina. Andrea. Not here. Virginia. Present teacher. William. William Boris. Present teacher. Hey, entonces, ganó Virginia. <laughs> teacher me mencionó. I think so. Sí. Sí, sí. Uh, okay. Merrily. Okay. Bye. Nos quedamos con Virginia entonces. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Virginia. Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Bien. ¿Qué tal su día? Hola. ¿Qué tal su día, le digo? Ay, algo pesadito porque ya salimos tarde. De verdad. Sí, es que la temporada está algo yuca ahorita. ¿Y en qué trabaja? En ventas, en almacenes tropicales. Really? Sí, estamos en la temporada ahorita de mamá. Todavía siguen, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> ¿Y en cuál, en cuál tienda está? En almacenes tropicales Metro Centro, San Miguel. Really? Sí. ¿Es más demandado? Sí, en los centros comerciales se sale más noche. ¿A qué hora está saliendo a las 8? A las 8, sí. Pero vive cerca. Eh, sí, a 15 minutos. Ay, vaya, tenga. Sí. Sí, porque está bien pesado. ¿Y entran a las 9? Sí, a las 9. Eso sí, mm. entramos un poquito más tarde. Sí, pero aún así está todo el día en eso. Sí. Es complicado, sí. Bueno, ¿qué tal está yendo con la clase? Um, sí, este... Algunas que otras cosas, sí, no... No entiendo, ¿verdad? Más uh -huh. que todo en la pronunciación, así cuando escucho hablar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, 
no sé si se ha dado cuenta, pero sí, ahí vamos. En la pronunciación igual este... Hay que repasar Me, mucho. ajá, y me pongo a repasar lo que es el folleto. Uh -huh. Porque sí, hay bastantes palabras. Bueno, en todos los cursos siempre salen palabras nuevas. Sí, ajá, es, la, es parte de ir acumulando, ¿verdad? El vocabulario Ajá. Y... para, para ir mejorando. Ajá. Ajá. Yo en los otros folletos anteriores lo que iba poniendo ahí, las palabras que me costaban abajo con lápiz, les escribía cómo se pronunciaba. Claro, o ir buscando el significado, o ir escribiendo una oración con esa palabra. Cualquier estrategia que le funcione, pues bienvenida, ¿verdad? Uh Sí, exacto. -huh. Y con la plataforma, ¿cómo va? Hmm. Eh, sí, ya voy bastante avanzada. ¿Y tiene alguna dificultad? Sí, a esta, eh, más que todo en las que han pasado los compañeros, pero como ellos mismos ahí han puesto en el grupo eh, ya las respuestas ahí. <ríe> Sí, porque de repente a veces no es que no sepan la estructura, sino que no les Sí, porque en una ganas, me acuerdo, no les dejan pasar por un punto, por un apóstrofe. sí, es que en una de las 18 me acuerdo que yo había puesto bastante, bien larga la oración y cuando mandaron ahí la respuesta era bien cortita la respuesta. Uy, ¿qué le pasó? Dijo usted. No, pues entendí mal esta, dije yo. Ay. Ya va en la unidad cuarto. Sí, Ah, vaya. sí, ya. Vamos bien, entonces. Sí, ahí vamos avanzando. Bueno, entonces no, no hay mayor cosa, entonces. Sí, teacher, ahí mil gracias por, Oh, muy bien. por todo. Vamos a seguirle echando ganas. Ay, sí, Y cualquier, sí. y cualquier duda, pues usted haga la consulta, ¿verdad? O pregunte en el chat si no, si no quiere, pues, o interrumpir, o de que de repente la gente piensa que, que, que le va a cortar la inspiración al otro compañero, escriban en el chat. Sí. Exacto, sí. Vaya, pues. Cuídense, Vaya, niña. teacher. Good night. Bueno, good night, teacher. Bye. Adiós.